What's up everybody, I'm Clay Wimberly and in this video we're going to be talking about the plamp and how it applies to dentists. So let me get first to give you a little bit of uh, background information about the plamp. Uh, this was originally designed for nature photographers to take uh, macro photography. So basically it's a little sort of third arm that you clamp to your tripod and you have a little clip here that can hold your subject or can hold a reflector or a diffuser or something like that. But recently we've been, get, uh, get, been getting a lot of orders from dentists. And it turns out that dentists are using this particular device to hold their HVE lines. Here's one right here. Um, and that's because of the COVID-19 issues we're having. So they want to be able to uh, evacuate all the aerosols coming out of somebody's mouth uh, to help uh, you know, stop the spread of COVID-19. So in this video, we're going to specifically be talking about how to use the plant to hold that line and ways that you can get it to work for your setup. So first, let me just talk about uh, the basic anatomy of the plant. Um, the plant is basically, it, con it consists of a large clamp on one end. It's got an articulating arm and then a smaller clip on the other end. So what you're going to do is the first thing you want to do is is find some place to clamp this large clamp to. Okay. Um, so in some situations you're going to have something in your normal dental setup. So for instance, um, in this uh, in this setup here, we've got this armrest that you can kind of grab. I'm not sure that gets you close enough to the person's head, but that's got a possibility. You've also got you've got this articulating arm here on the dental chair that holds all your vacuum lines and that sort of thing um, and that on this particular chair is small enough in diameter that the plant can grab that just barely okay and let me just give you an idea of what the plant can grab um, on this large clamp um, it can hold cylindrical objects uh, ranging in diameter from 0.7 inches to 1.4 inches so if you're using a ruler, uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch and three eighths, that should do you. And it's 18 to 35 millimeters. So that's for cylinders. If you're grabbing something like a tabletop like this, um, the maximum uh, depth of a tabletop that it can grab is 1.4 inches or about one and three eighths inches. Um, so that's kind of what you're working with. You can grab something that thick or that big in diameter. And on this particular dental chair, we've got one cylinder here we can grab, and we've got this um, this armrest. And actually, in this case, you could probably grab this tabletop. That may or may not work. Anyway, you're going to have to see how it works for your particular setup. And there are times when there's nothing that you can grab. Uh, but if you look around um, and you use those parameters, so it's a cylinder, 0.7 to 1.4 inches in diameter or a tabletop up to 1.4 inches in diameter. If you can find something that's in, in, a, in a convenient spot um, uh, to mount the plant, then you've got the first step covered, okay? Now, if you don't have something that you can mount it to, we've come up with um, a good solution that will work for anybody. And let me show you that. So this is our solution and it's just an off off the shelf uh, microphone stand and it's one with a weighted base some of them have sort of a tripod at the bottom that's not as good you want one with a weighted base um, it's chrome and it's kind of the cheapest one you, you can find those are those are pretty good and on the top here it has um, what is known as a sometimes they call it a butterfly style microphone clip or a clothespin style microphone clip um, and basically, it's something normally used to hold the microphone that has these little spring-loaded jaws like this. The normal microphone clips are just sort of a piece of a C-shaped piece of plastic. Uh, these spring-loaded ones are what you kind of want for what we're doing here. So we basically have a microphone stand with a weighted base, and we have um, a butterfly or clothespin style clip on the top of it. Um, now at the end of this video, we'll have some information about um, some specific models that you might want to buy um, and a little guidance uh, for that. But for, for right now, we're just going to talk about how it works. Um, the nice thing about this particular solution for, for having a stand to hold your plant 
is that um, you can move it around wherever you want. It's definitely going to work, and it's readily available, and it's not very expensive. It's about you're going to spend about forty to sixty bucks to buy this setup, which is the microphone uh, stand and the clip. And if you have this setup, you can use the plant to hold your HVE line. Uh, definitely no problem, whatever kind of chair you have, okay? Um, also, I want to point out now um, that if you go to our website, we're going to have a page on our website that deals specifically with sort of dentist-related issues. At this point, our only dentist-related issue is using the plant for this sort of thing, but it, it's going to be tripodhead.com slash dentist dot cfm, okay? And that's going to have all of our videos and information about this sort of thing. So anyway, let me get at, kind of talk about how the plant works for dentists and how it's going to work on this stand. Okay, I'm going to have it on this stand for now. Maybe later we'll talk about how it works when it's clipped to other parts of the chair. But for now, we're going to work with the stand. So when you get your microphone stand to use for this, you're going to screw the microphone cable on the top. And then you're going to clamp your plant to one of three places. You can clamp to the large diameter um, tube that's sort of the, the, um, the main tube of the microphone stand. That works fine and you can kind of twist the plant back and forth. You can also clip to the little collet nut here on the microphone stand and depending on whether that's loose or not you can either move it. This one's tight so you can't really, you can't really spin it but if you loosen it up then you can clamp to it and you can kind of pivot. And it's kind of nice sometimes to be able to pivot because if you have your, uh, your evacuation tube, say, positioned over the person's mouth, you might want to just be able to swing it out of the way like you can do with a lot of dental stuff. Just swing the arm out of the way and bring it back in. So sometimes it's nice for it to be able to easily rotated that way. Uh, so those are two places you can attach it. The other place is right on the microphone clip here. And the nice thing about that location is that you can actually raise that up if you want. Normally you're gonna use this stand um, in its fully lowered position. Uh, but if you uh, need it higher for some reason, then you can attach it right below this microphone clip, right to sort of the uh, swivel base of that, and then you can raise the plant up. And that could be useful for certain things. Okay, so on this particular stand, that's where you're gonna attach it. And of course, since it's movable, you can move it around wherever you want, that makes it convenient. Okay, so now that you have your, uh, your plant attached to the base of your plant attached, now you're going to grab your, um, your HVE line. And in this particular office, we've got one right here. Um, this one has a silicone uh, funnel on it. This is just a, a, a collapsible silicone kitchen funnel, which some dentists sort of pointed us in the direction of of using this this sort of thing I know that it's autoclavable because it's silicone and you can buy they're really cheap they're you know three bucks a piece something like that uh, so you can get a bunch of them um, autoclave them if you want and it makes a pretty nice funnel I think they also make disposable funnels I'm not sure I'm not really an expert about all this dental stuff but but these silicone funnels seem to work for a variety of nozzles and would, would do the trick so we've got um, an HVE line we got a funnel on the end and now we're going to grab it with the clip end of the plant. So there's two little uh, sort of or, uh, uh, semicircle cutouts uh, in the plant clip. You're going to use the larger of the two. And in general, you're going to grab the, uh, the hose right before it meets, meets the valve here. You can, you can grab further back if you want, uh, but that's usually the best place to grab. So we're going to grab there. We're going to put it in the larger of the cutouts. And we're going to clamp down on that. And you can just use it like that if you want. It's pretty good. But it works a lot better if you, uh, if you grab the hose in this microphone clip on the mic stand. Okay? So let's just move this a little closer. And I'm going to move this down here. All right and I'm going to grab the hose in the clip. So you have the plant holding the end and then the clip just sort of takes the weight off of the plant um, so that it's not holding the whole weight of the hose. And that's not always necessary but it usually makes things tidier and it also means that um, 
there are some situations where the weight of the hose will actually make it so the plant uh, doesn't want to hold. Uh, a lot of times this joint right here will twist if there's too much weight on it from the hose. So this microphone clip right here kind of takes some of that weight off and makes it easier to keep the plant holding the hose in the proper place. So that's the basic setup. You've got the microphone stand, the clamp, you can move this thing around however you want, get it perfectly situated, and you're good to go. In this particular case, you can just swing it out of the way if you want and swing it back in, and you have a good, sturdy way of holding your HVE hose. Um, real quick, let's go over some other options of how you can hold the base of the clamp. So personally, that's my favorite using that microphone stand. Uh, they cost about 40 to 60 bucks. It's not very expensive. You can move it out of the way when you don't need it. It's guaranteed to give you a good base to attach the plant to. But if you don't have that, let's just try putting it on. In this particular case, we've got uh, sort of an arm that comes out that has all your vacuum hoses on it. So we're going to put the clamp on that. That just barely fits, but it does fit. And we're going to position that over here. We're going to put the hose. And put the hose here. And now here's a good situation where you can see there's a lot of tension on this hose because it's not a very long hose and it's attached back that way. And now when I'm trying to position it, there's tension on the hose and it's trying to move the, cl the, the clip of the plant. So that's the sort of issues that people have, have had when they're trying to just make their own setup work. When you use the microphone stand, you're guaranteed to have something work. Uh, it's not a bad idea to try it without the microphone stand if you think that it might work because it could work and you wouldn't have to get the microphone stand. Um, but it's good to know that the microphone stand option will guarantee that something will work for you. So another attachment point we're going to try. Let's try this armrest right here. That's not a bad option on this particular chair. That's about in the right position. Um, so in this case, the armrest just about does it, right? Um, but depending on where their head is, maybe it doesn't go far enough back. We do sell extensions for the plant that allow you to extend it further. That can work pretty well, um, but there's a limit to how much you can extend it. And in my opinion, using the mic stand is a better option than extending it because you can guarantee that it'll work. But in this case, the armrest will kind of work. Um, so you might have a way to attach it that, that works, but you're guaranteed with the mic stand. So let me go over uh, a few other little tips and tricks about using this. Um, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You clip the two ends and, and move the arm around, but there are a few little tips that might not be obvious that I'm gonna talk about right now. Okay, so let me attach this to the mic stand. All right, so the first thing is how you hold, the angle that you hold the, the, the line can sometimes make a big difference. So for example, if, if you're holding it sort of like this, right, and you have a lot of hose weight over here, this joint on the plant is, is not very stiff, so all this weight of the hose can kind of make it always wanna move like that, okay? So when that is the case, you want to aim it like this, okay? You're going to aim it so that the clip is sort of pointing towards the sky, and then all the weight of that hose is not making it want to twist. It's just trying to bend it this way, and it's strong in that way. So you put it like that, and then you can position it uh, easily. Also, adjusting the the, the hose in, in this clamp on the, uh, on the microphone stand, that can help with those same sort of things. Maybe there's too much tension and it's making it want to move back like that. So you can, you can put, you can let up on the tension a little bit and move it around. Anyway, the angle of this clip can make a pretty big difference. Um, another thing is 
uh, where you clamp, I, th I think I've already talked about this, but where you clamp on the, on the pole of the microphone stand, because a lot of times it's nice to be able to, to tilt the, uh, um, the, the HVE line out of the way when you don't need it. Um, now going back to what I was saying earlier about this joint not being particularly stiff, we do sell a kit that allows you to pop the end off of this plant and tighten that joint. So that is an option. First experiment with what angle you're, uh, you're using to try to make it work without tightening that joint. But if you need to tighten it, we do sell um, a little kit that's just got a Torx wrench in it. You can also just use a Torx wrench if you, wrench if you have one at home um, to, to adjust the tension of the screw. Um, Anyway, that's about it. That uh, pretty much covers the use of the plant uh, for this particular uh, dental purposes purpose. Um, and uh, once again, I want to say or point you towards our website at tripodhead.com, and the specific page is going to be tripodhead.com/dentist.cfm. Uh, from our website there, you can also uh, give us a call and contact us if you have any questions. Um, and I'd like to thank all the dentists who have kind of given us assistance and taken interest in this. Um, and, uh, and that's about it.